These four inventors have come up with ingenious ideas. In India, every hour, six bikers are going to get their own. 60% of millennials have or are willing to travel solo. But with solo travel comes a few challenges. It's an interesting <laughs> idea. If you want to shake a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. If you want me to jump around in front of you to make you relax. Go, Dhruv. <laughs> I want to know, when you go to the lab, what is that one quality about you that's going to see you to the end of this competition? It appears a lot bulky. We can take something that's existing and then repurpose it for something else. It's now time to decide. And the winner of the Inventor Challenge is... When you're out and about, you have to worry about so many things like safety or getting lost. Even the most basic ones like not being able to go outside in your socks. You know, they could get wet or they won't be comfortable when you walk on the road or people will just make fun of you. What if there was something under your sock which would not only make it comfortable to walk on but it won't even dirty your sock? I present to you a... Shoe. Why are you showing me away? I'm presenting you my invention. No, you've invented a shoe. Shoe? <laughs> oh, shoe. <laughs> shoe. Well, inventing might not be for me. But you know what is? Bringing a completely fresh show to you. We went on to search for the best minds in the country. Everyday people who are coming up with extraordinary ideas for bettering our lives. Today, you will see four such inventors who will present their ideas to our panel. My invention is safety band. Automatic cooking machine. The vegetable peeler. The EG seater. The rangoli dispenser. The panel will then decide which two are the best and send them to our labs so they can build them out. And finally, present their invention to everyday people. A consumer testing panel who will then decide which of these two inventions is deserving, which one is more relevant. And the winning inventor bags a neat 10 lakh rupees. I'm Ahana Kumra, your host for this season, and this is the Inventor Challenge. Today, our on-the-move inventors want to reach their destination by focusing on their journey. These four inventors have come up with ingenious ideas to add value to our lives when we're on the go. Uh, I mean, on the move. But before we get to their inventions, let me introduce you to our panel. My name is Dhruv Madhok and I'm the co-founder of Arata. In three and a half years, we've made a hundred crore company. Can your product add that value? My name is Malini Agarwal, but you might know me as Miss Malini. Miss Malini's content is consumed by over 40 million people a month from across the globe. And I'm here to see if your story can touch the masses. Hi, I'm Sarovar Zaidi. I've been in the field of social anthropology, architecture and design for 10 years. Will your invention stand out? I'm Dhruv Basin, co-founder at Arata. I'm constantly on the lookout for how to make people's lives better. I'm here to find someone who's also got the commitment to go the distance. The scariest thing that can happen to someone who's traveling is if your phone's battery dies. That's even scarier than having to use the public restroom. Our first inventor. Arjun thinks this might never be a problem again. The phone dying part. So let's see the cool solution he's come up with to his everyday problem. Hello everyone. Hi. Hi. I'm Arjun Anand. Where are you from? I'm from Delhi. Delhi. And how are yes. you feeling right now? A bit nervous, but it's okay. Okay, that's good. How many people do you have at home? So, we have a four-member family. Okay. I have my father, mother and my brother. My elder brother. He's three years elder to me. Okay. And who has been the most supportive of your ideas and inventions to this point? I guess everyone in my family has been supportive. That's awesome. awesome. That's awesome. That's fantastic. What's your idea? I miss a lot of vacations for going on a two-wheeler or an interstate bus. And one of the major problems that we face is unavailability to charge our mobile phones or any other electronic device on the go. Suppose we are going to Manali or we are going to Nainital. We are going to any famous dhabe for 15-20 minutes. And at that time, everyone has to charge their mobile phones. 
So we have a limited time and a limited power supply as well. Hmm. And having a sufficiently charged mobile phones is a must these days. Our maps are in it, our songs are in it. When we stop somewhere, we take a photo of each other, we take a photo of each other, we take a photo of each other, we take a photo of each other. So the utility of mobile phones is while traveling, but we are never able to charge it on the go. Secondly, there are many online delivery services and bike taxi services that have started these days. And the entire system of these bike taxi services and online delivery services work on a mobile phone. So, these delivery boys or bike taxi riders will charge their mobile phone every time and how will they grow their business? Thirdly, there are many places in rural India where there is no electricity connection. Where you don't have a bulb of electricity, there is no charge of any electronic device or mobile phone. So, I came up with a very revolutionary idea to make the mobile phone charge. So, I came up with a very revolutionary idea to make a wind turbine, which is a portable mobile phone charger. So, I came up with a very revolutionary idea to make a wind turbine, which is a portable mobile phone charger. So what will happen in this product? The product can be put in the front of the vehicle, where it can be put in the front of the vehicle. The maximum amount of air faces. Like the vehicle will go, the wind will flow, so we will put a fan on it, so the wind will go to the fan. The fan will be connected to a motor and an electrical circuit. Thus, converting the mechanical energy of the moving fan to the electrical energy. So we can charge our mobile phone for how long we can charge it, until the time the vehicle is moving. So we will make a simple idea, a small compact windmill. So usually, our mobile phones get charged by a 5-volt battery. So we have just 5 volts of power generated so that we can charge any electronic device on our mobile phone. The product that we are using, we will take a fan of CPU and the body will be plastic molding. So basically, the product will be made from scrap. So it's quite eco-friendly. It's made from an economical as well. So it's quite eco-friendly. It's made from an economical as well. It's quite eco-friendly. It's economical as well. And it doesn't require any prerequisite. You don't have to charge anything. You just put it on the vehicle, on the bike, on the bus, on the bus, on the bus. Just your bike will be charged on your mobile phone. Very bright idea. And it is a problem that I face constantly. I'm always attached to wires, trying to charge something. I completely relate. I have a lot of tension that sometimes my phone is down to 2%. And you know that at the worst possible time, your phone will die. One possible concern I have is, first question is, what is the main use case for this? So the use case is for everyone, like any two-wheeler guy can use it be it a bike or a scooter. You can even use it in an industrial bus or normal buses. You have uh, windows, you have rails, you can put a product on there. What about the power that's generated by the turbine? Is it sufficient to charge a phone? And how much movement do you need for how long to charge, say, even 10% of a typical smartphone? It's just 5 volts of power generated, which is not a very big deal. Okay. So, average movement, if you're asking, so 25 to 30 kilometers per hour speed or more, you can easily charge a mobile phone. If it's less than that, we have to like a step-up version of it. That's why we are putting gears in it, which amplifies the fan's movement. There's no danger that it heats up if you're going very fast, for instance. No. Suddenly, for a long time. It's not going to cause any danger to your phone. Actually, no, because we are using a fan that is moving, which is the CPU. Okay. It's not going to cause any danger to your phone. Actually, no, because we are using a fan that is moving, which is the CPU. Okay. It's not going to cause any danger to your phone. Actually, no, because we are using a fan that is moving, which is the CPU. Okay. It's not going to cause any danger to your phone. Actually, no, because we are using a fan that is moving, which is the CPU. Okay. It's not going to cause any danger to your phone. Actually, no, because we are using a fan that is moving, which is the CPU. Okay. It's not going to cause any danger to your phone. Actually, no, because we are using a fan that is moving, which is the CPU. Okay. It's not going to cause any danger to your phone. Actually, no, because we are using a fan that is moving, which is the CPU. Okay. It's not going to cause any danger to your phone. Actually, no, because we are using a fan that is moving, which is the CPU. Okay. It's not going to cause any danger to your phone. Actually, <laughs> Bef uh, like uh, without one, I have lived for a month. A month? You stayed away for You've a month? You lived without a smartphone for a month? Wow. Yeah, uh, like in 12th, I had my exams and also I just switched it off uh, and I... Tell wow. the truth, you got tell caught confiscated, right? No, no, I didn't keep it. What will happen to your parents? And you didn't have to do a girlfriend on WhatsApp message? No, like... I know that you were using WhatsApp web. No, no. Phone switch off and kept it. Everyone knew exams are in hand for now, so... This is a very, very cool idea. And I think something that's relevant to all ages and generations and demographics. So, well done. Thank you. Congratulations. I had a question. If you think the bus is running, the bike is running, the bike is running, the phone is charging. But if I think I'm standing in a place, the bike is running, the wind is coming, then my phone is charging. You keep the phone down, the bike is running. Do you do that? It will be charged? You should go. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I think we're both running around and around. Then we'll talk about it. How much charge will be? How much charge will be? How much charge will be? Come on, your battery is charged? Yes. Let's go. Then we'll go backstage. Thank you so much. You did an amazing job. Thank you. 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 So I, I genuinely love that he's solving for a new age problem. Absolutely. And he's 18, so he's yeah. really obviously yeah. lived his first, whole life with a phone. No, it's right? a very first, first real problem. first world problem. I can't live without photographs. But it's interesting that he's solving for a first world problem in a much more mass space. And he has a sense of reality, like that yeah. there is no electricity in the country. There yeah. are, uh, you know, places where you will not. Are those people with smartphones? Yeah, I mean, yes. 600 million people. 600 million people. I think it's an interesting idea how 
it gets fleshed out uh, if he makes it to the lab stage is uh, what's going to be very interesting now without further ado our next inventor ayush jain all the way from rajasthan he's made me realize how different jain he is like i would obsess over the cc of a bike but him he's only stuck on the helmet what हेलो आयुष आप कैसे हैं आज हेलो मैम मैं बहुत अच्छा हूँ वेर आर यू फ्रॉम आयुष आई एम फ्रॉम श्री गंगानगर राजस्थान तो आप हमेशा से इन्वेंटर रहे हो मैं हमेशा से अपने चारों ओर प्रॉब्लम्स देखता था और उनके बारे में सोचता था कि इस प्रॉब्लम को कैसे सॉल्व किया जा सकता है फ्लोर इज योर लेट्स हेयर अबाउट वॉट यूर डूइंग आई एम अ डिजाइन स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम डेली टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी और फेबररी में मैं अपने कॉलेज के लिए डेली शिफ्ट हुआ तो दिल्ली घूमने के लिए मैंने इंस्टेड ऑफ कार टैक्सीज आई स्टार्टेड यूजिंग बाइक टैक्सीज पर इंडिया में हर घंटे छह बाइकर्स अपनी जान गवाते हैं और इसमें से ज्यादातर कैजुअलिटीज हेड इंजरीज के कारण होती है इसलिए गवर्नमेंट ने टू व्हीलर्स पर दोनों हेलमेट पहनना कंपलसरी कर रखा है इसलिए जो मेरे बाइक टैक्सी ड्राइवर्स होते थे उनको भी अपने साथ दो हेलमेट रखने होते थे पर मैंने नोटिस किया कि उनके पास ये दूसरा हेलमेट रखने के लिए कोई भी प्रॉपर अरेंजमेंट नहीं था या तो वो उसको अपने बाइक के हैंडल पे लटका देते थे या फिर वो अपनी बाइक के पीछे कहीं पे स्ट्रैप कर देते थे या अटैच कर देते थे तो मैंने सोचा बाइक में इन दो हेलमेट रखने की एक प्रॉपर अरेंजमेंट भी होना चाहिए इसके साथ साथ मैंने एक और प्रॉब्लम फेस करी बाइक में बैठने के 15-20 मिनट बाद ही मेरी लोअर बैक में पेन होने लग जाता था क्योंकि वहां पर कोई भी प्रॉपर सपोर्ट नहीं था तो मैंने सोचा कि क्या हम कुछ ऐसा बना सकते हैं जिससे ये दोनों प्रॉब्लम साथ में सॉल्व हो जाए और तब मैं इस आइडिया के साथ आया तो मेरी इन्वेंशन बाइक के लिए एक बैक रेस्ट है जो एज अ हेलमेट होल्डर भी काम करेगा ये बाइक की सीट के एंड में एक बार होती है पिलियन राइडर के पकड़ने के लिए वहां पर अटैच हो जाएगा और इसमें आप अपने दोनों हेलमेट फिट कर सकते हैं और लॉक कर सकते हैं इस इन्वेंशन के कारण बाइक पर दो हेलमेट रखना ज्यादा कन्वीनियंट हो जाएगा तो ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोग हेलमेट यूज करेंगे और ज्यादा जाने बचेंगे साथ ही साथ बैक रेस्ट के कारण उनकी बैक पे सपोर्ट मिलेगा और उनका बैठना उनकी लाइफ कंफर्टेबल हो जाएंगे जो ये प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं ये प्रीडोमिनेटली स्कूटर टैक्सी या बाइक टैक्सी के लिए नॉट ओनली टैक्सी बट टू व्हीलर्स इन जनरल माई कंसर्न एक्चुअली इज वॉट इफ एनी इंस्टेंसिस वेर इफ देव एन एक्सीडेंट गॉड फॉर बेट दैट दिस कंट्रेप्शन और प्रोडक्ट और इन्वेंशन कैन एक्चुअली हार्म फिजिकली द राइडर और द पिलियन राइडर Yeah I thought about that and that will make it from steel which will make it very durable and uh, crash tests karenge taki hame pata chale ki wo usko hum kaise aise bana sakte hain ki wo pillion rider ko harm na kare Ayush I have to ask you one question I want to know jab aap lab mein jayenge what is that one quality about you that's going to see you to the end of this competition My willingness to experiment and go beyond my limits and I am looking forward to learn from the expert mentors that will be getting in the lab round and whatever they have to teach me and work with them and make something new i think now uh, it's going to be a difficult task for us to evaluate your value proposition for the invention uh, and see if this can move to the lab so thank you very much thank you uh, thanks so much thank you, we wish you all the best good job thank you, thank you. Thank you. great job ruko 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 where are you going <laughs> ayush <laughs> you don't have to run away from her he's running away okay but really a great pitch and we must keep that head of yours protected so that you can come up with more and more ideas like this come on thanks so much thank you quirky idea for him to be the student in yeah. delhi who's yeah. taking this hack of riding bikes across yeah. to suddenly come up with this i think that's a really nice great thing to do and i i like the fact that he's you know he says i'm i'm willing to to try new things because perhaps this is the idea and the problem to be solved but this might not be the entire solution so that's yeah. great but i'm excited to see what what else is in yeah. store i hope yeah. you guys love yeah very okay. coming up next is prateek dalvi who's learned that when you're traveling it's easy to ensure your safety but saman ke well hi sir hi ma'am Hi Pratik how are you I'm doing good Aap kahan se aaye Pratik I live in Thane it's this city next to Mumbai So Pratik tell us about yourself I completed my engineering from Mumbai University and since then I've been working in marketing and sales Now I think you should tell us about what you have created Let me start by asking you a very simple question Do you enjoy traveling Yes Yes a lot And have any of you guys ever traveled solo Yeah all the time uh, Can I ask where 
different places sometimes within the city sometimes abroad that's that's great did you guys know that solo travel is up by 761% in the last 3 years but with solo travel comes a few challenges as a solo traveler it's quite impossible to always keep an eye on your things i mean let's take my bag for example i i came here with a bag right right where is it gone where is it this is exactly what i'm talking about so this is not a stand alone thing this happens frequently to solo travelers in fact i remember this one incident that my friend faced when he was in spain he lost two macbooks and a suitcase in two separate occasions after hearing their incidents that's when i came up with the idea called cctv for travelers essentially it's a tool that helps you keep an eye on your things so let's say you're a solo traveler who is traveling in a train and you need to use the restroom so ideally in such situations what you would do is ask your neighbor to keep an eye on your things or you would keep the bag unattended but that's not the best way to go about it so with my device all you need to do is turn on the device with the help of a mobile app and that's it as soon as the device is turned on the motion sensors would create a perimeter around the belongings so let's say you uh, are somewhere else and someone is coming very close to your bag right. as soon as the motion sensors track motion uh, they would the device would send you a notification to your phone stating that someone is coming close to your bag and simultaneously it would start live streaming video from the device to your phone so you know who exactly is near your bag if it's a person grabs your bag the device would send you another notification saying that your bag or your suitcase is not at its initial location and uh, it would instantly share the location between you and the bag in general so you know exactly how to track it so that's basically the gist of the device and here's to making solo travel fun and more safer for everyone very nice fantastic what is the use case will it, is it only when it's away from your person or away from your body so essentially it would work on two levels the video streaming uh, module is something that you can turn on and the gps tracking feature is something that would be always on mm -hmm. so when you're leaving your bags unattended it's when you can turn on the video streaming uh, module basically keep uh, an eye on your surroundings my only concern here is a little bit about privacy like i would be a little wary that if i'm a solo traveler with my own bag and you have cctv in your bag right. that you could be recording me without my permission right so that's a little bit of a gray area for me have you thought about that uh, i did so the one way to counter that is uh, the video will only turn on when the when they sense that someone is close to the bag even mm. bombay everybody is so close to each other yeah yeah but that is something i definitely need to work on maybe an alarm system would be more effective than a yeah, video that, system yeah. that if someone comes close to the bag it suddenly Beeping, sends an yeah. alarm right. off so that surrounding people will come to know that you know someone who's not supposed to be near the bag is near the bag so if you add a sound uh, something that creates a beeper or some sort of a sound people might assume it's a bomb or like ah, something like that, that. Makes sense. so that's something that we might encounter in a sense do you think your invention idea is based on much more train travel and rather than airplane travel or can it move between different modes of transport so it would be ideally for people traveling in public transport like trains or buses buses yeah and uh, the target audience would be solo travelers so they might carry some expensive items with them like laptops or if they are at a touristy location they are clicking pictures their bag is somewhere else and they are trying to uh, focus on themselves these are some of the situations where this device might come in handy has your bag been stolen before this ever not yet but lucky for you we know who yes. stole your bag ahara please return his bag i will not <laughs> we saw you ahana we saw we you saw of course you. it wasn't me the cctv do you have any cctv I, yes. not on yet. your bag not yet not none of it so a very cool idea i must say but um, mai relate nahi kar payi tumhare sath because you know when you're as cool as me and you're as famous as me somebody so, holds your bag <laughs> log aapki itni sari photos lete hain ki the whole world becomes your cctv ah, camera oh ah, 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 yes i just no clap wow. <laughs> <laughs> make sure she gives your bag back up huh? bye aur tumhare sath photo khinchwa thanks for the job always thank you See bye you thanks bye <laughs> It's an interesting idea because I uh, do a lot of bus travel alone yeah. okay. in the mountains, and and one of the main issues that I keep feeling is who do I leave my bag with? Bag like this is what I experienced like four days ago before mm -hmm. I came. What I like about him, again, a very solution oriented to an everyday problem. Yeah, I think that 
इफ ही थिंक्स अबाउट इट वो डेफिनेटली कुछ नया इन्वेंशन इसको ट्वीक करके बना सकते हैं जस्ट लाइक वे सेंग मे बी नॉट अ बी बट समथिंग एल्स टू अ लैब फेस there is potential because this is a very real problem to solve let's put our thoughts together and see if we can take this to the the lab yeah. stage let's see who's next our next inventor coming up is anuj kumar gupta from delhi whose invention is not on fire the joke will make more sense once you see his invention hi anuj right yes ma'am how are you today i'm good ma'am aap kahan se hai main delhi se hu but main pr se belong karta hu दिल्ली में क्या कर रहे हैं आप एजुकेशन के लिए ओके विच पार्ट ऑफ योर एजुकेशन आई एम डूइंग बैचलर्स ऑफ बैचलर्स ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम ट्रिपल आई टी डेली कॉलेज आप लोग ने आज की हेडलाइन देखी पुणे में एक इलेक्ट्रिक स्कूटर था जो धूप में पार्क किया हुआ था वहाँ पे उसमें अपने आप ही फायर लगना स्टार्ट हो गया जिसकी वजह से पूरी स्कूटी ही जल गई एंड उसी के ठीक नीचे मैं ये भी देख सक, सकता हूँ कि तमिलनाडु के घर में जहाँ पे एक इलेक्ट्रिक स्कूटर चार्ज में था वो पूरी तरीके से जल गया और उसके साथ साथ पूरी फैमिली ही एक्सपायर हो गई हो गई अगर ये टाइप के न्यूज एंड हेडलाइंस अगर छपेंगे तो जो नॉर्मल पीपल है वो कैसे खरीदेंगे सही बात ये ये सेम प्रॉब्लम थी मेरी एंड मेरी फैमिली के साथ भी ओके okay. जहाँ पे जब पे पेट्रोल के दाम जब बढ़ना स्टार्ट हुए तो मेरे फादर जो अपने जॉब के लिए उनको रोज बाइक के साथ ट्रैवल करना पड़ता है हम लोग ने ये सोचा कि क्यों ना हम लोग भी एक इलेक्ट्रिक स्कूटर खरीद लें बट सिंस जैसे जैसे ये न्यूज़ छपने लगी एंड ये न्यूज़ वायरल हो गई तो मेरे फादर ने देखा कि हम लोग भले ही पेट्रोल एंड डीजल के बढ़ते हुए दाम को मैनेज कर लेंगे बट सेफ्टी के साथ कोई कॉम्प्रोमाइज नहीं करेंगे बट मैं खुद एक इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट हूँ तो मैंने ये सोचा कि मैं इस प्रॉब्लम से भाग क्यों रहा कि क्यों ना मैं इस प्रॉब्लम को ठीक करूँ इसको सॉल्व करूँ मैंने जब खुद की रिसर्च करी तब मुझे ये पता चला कि ये जो फायर है वो दो स्टेजेस में होता है फर्स्ट स्टेज में क्या होता है कि बैटरी में से बहुत ज्यादा धुआं निकलता है एंड सेकंड स्टेज में यही धुआं फायर में कन्वर्ट हो जाता है तो मैंने ये सोचा कि अगर मैं इसको फर्स्ट स्टेज पे रोक दूं तो ये मैं इसको सेकंड स्टेज में कभी जाने ही नहीं दूंगा तो ये मेरा सॉल्यूशन है फायर एक्सटिंग सिस्टम फॉर इलेक्ट्रिक स्कूटर्स फर्स्ट वो है एक स्मोक डिटेक्टर एंड सेकेंड वो है एक फायर एक्सटिंग की छोटी सी बॉटल एंड थर्ड वो है एक पाइप और उस पाइप में होल्स होंगे एंड वो पाइप जाएगी बैटरी के पास अब जब भी बैटरी पे से स्मोक निकलना स्टार्ट होगा तो स्मोक डिटेक्टर उसको सेंस करेगा एंड वो एक सिग्नल भेजेगा फायर एक्सटिंग को जहाँ से उसका सारा मटीरियल एंड सारा कंटेंट पाइप के थ्रू निकलेगा एंड वो बैटरी को ढक देगा इससे क्या होगा कि बैटरी का हवा का सप्लाई खत्म हो जाएगा और उसमें फायर लगने से रुक जाएगी एंड जो कस्टमर्स हैं या फिर जो जो कंज्यूमर्स हैं उनका इलेक्ट्रिक स्कूटर पर से जो ट्रस्ट है वो खत्म होता जा रहा है तो ये सोल्यूशन इसलिए बहुत जरूरी है So thank you sir thank you ma'am thank you fantastic. very nice fantastic great idea first question is none of these large organizations or companies abhi tak are finding solutions cooling inbuilt cooling systems ke liye sir since ye cars mein hota hai kyunki wahan pe space hai but scooty mein aisa nahi hota hai kyunki wahan pe bahut hi kam jagah pe bahut sari cheeze hain aur isliye hum log kisi cooling system ko dal ke usko size and weight wapas nahi kar sakte So, आप कह रहे हैं कि कूलिंग सिस्टम पॉसिबल नहीं है बट एक्सटिंग सिस्टम पॉसिबल है yes, yes, yes. yes, जिसकी आप बात कर रहे हैं ये नॉर्मल एक्सटिंग्विशर जो हमारा जो यूज होता है वही एक्सटिंग्विशिंग मैकेनिज्म एंड मटीरियल वही बैटरीज के लिए यूज हो सकता है या उसमें केमिकल का कोई रिएक्शन का कोई कंसर्न uh, या डेंजर है सेंसर जो फायर होता है वो बहुत सारे टाइप का होता है तो जो इलेक्ट्रिक स्कूटर में होता है वो एक केमिकल है तो उसके लिए हम लोग को एक केमिकल फायर एक्सटिंग सिस्टम चाहिए जो स्पेशली लिथियम वाली बैटरीज के लिए बना होता है और ये मार्केट में है अच्छा ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्ट करता है ठीक है तो आपको सिर्फ मैकेनिज्म डेवलप करना है आपको वो मटीरियल नहीं डेवलप करना यस सर यस जैसे की वो फायर एक्सटिंग आप 
बिल्ट इन कर रहे हो अगर हम सोचें कि जो लोग ओनर्स हैं जिसमें जिसमें आपने ये कॉन्ट्रेप्शन लगाया है तो वो उसका रिफिल का सिस्टम भी सोचना पड़ेगा वो मैकेनिज्म ऐसा है कंज्यूमर है वो खुद ही निकाल के चेंज कर सकता है तो हमें बार बार मैकेनिक के शॉप पे जाने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी वो अपने घर पे ही कर सकता है थैंक यू अनुज थैंक यू सर थैंक यू अनुज थैंक यू थैंक यू ग्रेट वर्क यू डिड अ फैंटास्टिक जॉब डिड अ ग्रेट जॉब लेट्स गो थैंक यू बाय ही सॉ समथिंग दैट वाज हैपनिंग अराउंड हिम and instead of like walking past it yeah. he wanted to figure out something and innovate or jugad that's a very interesting intention in itself you know all four inventors have presented their ideas to our panel but since only two can go forward it's up to our panel to decide who will be closer to achieving their dream four inventors presented their amazing inventions to make our everyday lives better in hopes of making their inventions a reality the panel is now ready with their decision Let's see who gets to be on the move to the labs. So first of all guys you all did an amazing amazing job. Lots for us to think about, lots for us to evaluate. You made our our jobs very very difficult. So as you guys know there's four of you out of which two will be advancing to the lab stage uh, and it doesn't end there. At the lab stage two of you will be competing head to head uh, where there will be one final winner who will be winning the inventor challenge very special and fantastic young man in front of us and i'd like to congratulate ayush for making it you're moving to the lab well done ayush thank you everyone so i'm super excited uh, to announce that the second inventor who we're taking uh, to the lab stage is pratik But I have to say, even though you may not have made it to the lab stage, your ideas are very good. Never stop inventing, doing your jugar, coming up with ideas, solving real life problems. Because this is your first step, but definitely not your last step in your uh, journey to becoming inventors. All the best, guys! Congratulations! Well done. Anuj and Arjun, we have to sadly say goodbye. But Pratik and Ayush, they are off to our labs in Goa and Pune. These are state-of-the-art laboratories with all the equipment you can imagine, and some that you even can't. Yaha, they'll get an opportunity to bring their ideas to life, all under the guidance of our expert mentors. Who are these mentors? Bebhav Chabra and Anupama Gowda, two of the most well-known makers in India. I'm Anupama, and uh, I run a makerspace in a fab lab called Workbench Projects. I have been a very strong proponent for arts and tech, and I'm very invested in the space of education. Yes, Aish. Why don't you tell me what feedback you got from your first pitch? One concern that they had was to make sure that the backrest as a product does not prove to be hazardous to the pillion rider or the driver. So, what are the things that tells you that could make something hazardous? Like an accident, mm -hmm. and this as an accessory can uh, harm the rider. Let's look at your design aspects. My design currently. goes something like this so this is where the product itself attaches to the back bar of the bike this is mainly the back support and this is where the helmets mm. can lock to it so you can put the helmet something like this here it appears a lot bulky so is there a way that we can start looking at it to make it more simplistic in design robust something that is adjustable something that is, that is adjustable flexible flexible so i would suggest that you know you look at two things simplifying your design locking system has to be something that's safely secured and sturdy enough not to let that helmet, helmet uh, go, go. Yeah. and second thing it is about bringing in this lumbar support earlier i was only focusing on the functionality part but then she told me that it is not user friendly if it is not appealing to the customer no one's going to use it Hi, I'm Bebel Chabra. I'm a mechanical engineer. I started Makers Asylum about 10 years back. 
with a thought to create a space for people like myself to come together and build things, try out new things, experiment, just for the fun of it, not for anything else much. Tell me more about your project and what's been up. I am creating a wireless CCTV device for solo travelers. Okay. So the device would have a couple of sensors. The main focus would be on the camera. And apart from that, it would have an accelerometer and uh, like a 4G SIM module, which would essentially help transmit video data from the device to your mobile app. But you do understand that anything that has 4G or a SIM is going to require like massive amount of battery and massive amount of power. And plus, you will also require a microcontroller to be able to run all of those things. Right. We can take something that is existing and then repurpose it for something else. And today, everyone has so much like hardware, electronics, which is being thrown away and wasted. Yeah. If we can find a way to upcycle those waste phones, which are anyways going to trash, and then use those to be able to do something like this, then you have a beautiful circular economy model going on, right. which is a model which is much more powerful. You're able to take waste and upcycle it towards creating new things. Never thought of it that way. It has all the features of a mobile phone. Pratik comes from a very beautiful vision and a thought perspective. What I asked him to do was to focus on what he already wants to create and forget about the tech. When I started working on, I used to go to the innovation lab, I work on my design, research, study different mechanics or different parts. Before making the final prototype of the product, we had to make a cardboard prototype of the same. It was a lot more difficult than I had expected. The entire lab phase was pretty challenging for me. Over here, we were just testing the camera model. I just need to connect them to the right terminals. But these things are getting bulkier. I just need to figure out how to extend the battery life and uh, find a camera that is very small that could be fitted at the top of the bag. With the phone thing, I, I, the focus would be on the coding part. How to connect these two things together and make sure everything's working together. Since I started working on it, challenges arising every single day. So maybe sometimes I would just focus on the safety part of the device, but then I would make the entire device very hard to interact with. So I had to, again, refocus my thoughts on the usability part of the device. You use the material, you use it, I think. You don't have to do any external adjustments to the back, so that the device we are using can sit with the back. Maybe a longer batch of the magnet. Yeah. After speaking with my mentor, he mentioned that I could just eliminate the electronics part and just focus on the app side and maybe the design of the bag. To make the main form of my product, I took two sheets of flexible plywoods and made them into a curved shape using a mold. And then cut them using a jigsaw machine. I cut the metallic pipe that forms the main frame of the product. To make the clamp, I took a metal sheet. Then I bended it on a bending machine. Then I made the necessary drills on both the parts of the clamp so that they could be nut and bolt together. Welding is a task of okay. to bond two things. So you're saying all you have to do is, when you're doing, it's getting stuck, so... Yeah. You have to you... remove it yeah. before yeah. it gets stuck. Yeah. We were able to take two phones, prototype how they work, and within a day, he was able to test out his main use case. Malini had pointed out that, let's say if some person 
maybe a woman is sitting in front of the device, there would be high chances of someone trying to record her without her permission. So what are you going to do about that? So right now, instead of recording videos from the device phone, I'm just going to live stream data from the device to your phones. Hey Pratik, how's it going? It's going good. Okay. I'm still getting a few of the final things done. Okay. So okay. There's a lot to do in the next few days as well before the consumer tests happen. Got it. Got it. And are you feeling uh, quite confident about the, the prototype? Right now, I'm very excited to see how it works and uh, how would others receive the idea since like uh, it has changed from its initial point. So yeah, I also need to figure out how feasible it is how economical it would be for, for people in general to use the product. So I am excited to try it out. As an inventor, I would say don't create inventions for the sake of it. Like try to solve problems which are affecting you personally or the people around you. So that's how you come up with the best inventions. Until the, the very day of I was still working on the product and I was trying to make a few changes here and there. I went through three different variations of the back cover. There's definitely a little pressure being a design student. A lot of people hope that it would be easy for me or it would come natural, but that is not the case because I'm not a professional experienced designer. I'm just learning myself, struggling, studying and growing every day. So it is as big a task for me as it is for everyone else. Ayush and Pratik are back in our studio in Mumbai for the consumer test, where our focus group, a group of specially selected people, will test these prototypes on their ease of use. And the one they decide to make a part of their everyday commute, they'll add to cart. And the invention that more people prefer wins 10 lakh rupees. Hey guys. Hello. Hey. How are you all? Good. Hey. Good. Good. Excited to be here. Oh Absolutely. yes. And test out two new really fun inventions. Do you guys want to meet our inventors? Yes. yes. All right then, inventors. How are you all? We are great. I'm good. I'm good, I'm great. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you guys take our focus group through your inventions? So, I have made a backrest for a bike, which also works as a helmet holder. It provides back support to the pillion rider. This I have made for everyday city commuters. Hi guys, I have created an anti-theft device for solo travelers. What I've done is I've used an old phone that I had lying around and I've made it to function like a CCTV device. And you control that device using your own phone. So there would be three options. One is the live streaming feature. The second feature is the GPS tracking feature. And the third feature is the buzzer feature. And one last thing, I've named the bag or the device as Yami because in Arabic, Yami stands for to protect or defend. So that's it. I hope you guys like the product. Why don't you guys wait outside while you guys really come on the floor and test the products and see whether they actually work for you. All right, thank you guys. Thank you guys. The CCTV Traveler's Backpack, I think is a very unique device to have while you are traveling as well. The person would like run away and you're like still tracking it and you know with some mechanism what if the person takes out the phone puts it off so uh, that part is still unclear to me okay just buzzes once i think certain amount of work on the alarm system needs to be louder needs to be you know work a little better i thought Concept is very good. You have a lot of like mobiles you track. This is the first time I'm seeing, you know, now your bag is there and you can track it. The helmet holder with the backrest, that idea seemed something new and actually it's a problem solver. 
keeping in mind the current conditions and the laws in the country. Now you require helmets for pillions as well. And finding efficient storage for that helmet is definitely a need of the hour. Yeah. Now, in order to get on, I need to unlock it. I'm a decently big guy, right? So if I'm sitting pillion, it's really difficult for me to swing my legs on top of it. What I liked about the entire product is that it is ensuring that no more than two persons can be on the bike. It's now time to decide. You're going to get your vote meters mm -hmm. and you guys can vote for whichever invention you liked the most and uh, which you are going to incorporate in your day-to-day -day life. Go ahead and you select the one that deserves to go to the next level. What do we have here? He made it. He made this. That is absolutely uh, incredible. But it looks so cool. It's like very elegant, seamless yeah. with the bike. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, oh this is that backpack. This is the CCTV bag for travelers. Yes. There's a camera right there. Yeah. Ah, okay. Super. Excited. Let's see Let's this. Let's do this. Everything you need to go on a, a holiday is here. You can be yes. on the move. Get your CCTV backpack and get on the bike with your friend and you're good to go. All right, inventors. Welcome back, inventors. Welcome back, Ayush and Pratik. How are you guys feeling? Very excited and a little nervous. Yeah, and Pratik? Same. When you first came on the show, how simple the idea was. Some were even just in a drawing phase. And how now we've seen them evolve into fully working prototypes. So, um, I think what we were, you know, excited to see was the impact of the lab phase. So, could you tell us a little bit about that? Ayush, can we start with you? Uh, so, when the lab phase started, first of all, Anupama asked me to make a rough prototype out of cardboard. Right. And when I did that, I realized how it is so easy to think all the features and every design element that you want to put in your product. But when you actually want to make it hands-on, there's a lot of things that you take for granted and you don't understand the complexities of simple mechanisms. So, it took me a lot of time to understand different mechanism, mechanical things that are, uh, to uh, incorporate into that. Fantastic. And Pratik, what about you? How is Weber able to help you with this? Yeah, so my project has taken an interesting turn. Initially, what I was trying to do is create a product right from scratch. But then after speaking with him, the most of the features that I was trying to build are already part of a phone. So what we did is we, we repurposed an old phone to behave like a CCTV device and we put it inside a custom back cover that we created. And that's been the product journey. That's interesting. Wow. So, Fantastic. We take a closer I look. I think we come should. Here. Yeah, it'll help us understand. Come, but please. I, come, come. So the device itself is pretty simple to use. Okay. So the first feature we can test is the video streaming feature. And you can oh, see wow. uh, who exactly is in front of the bag. You can see it on your phone. Got it. If I were to pick this up right now? And if you pick it up Aren't and try to run off with it, it'll start. You will go to the GPS real-time tracking and you will track the person. Oh, Oh, wow. Is it moving with me? It will. I mean, how but sensitive is it? Can we see It's this? quite sensitive that way. Yeah. So we tested it out here. <laughs> fantastic, right. fantastic. Awesome. Great work. work. Well done Thank on the you. progress so far. You've done very well. All right. Let's see yes. this demo. I have to say, it's really nice how it's looking so aesthetic already yes. in this prototype stage with the bike. It looks like OEM level material right now. Can you open this? I want to see how comfortable it is. So if you pull up the ring, it will come back. Oh, okay, oh. so now I can get yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and when you bring it back, it locks by itself. Oh. You don't okay. have to touch it. Is, is Malni okay to lean back on it? Yeah, yeah, completely. Go for it. Locked. It is locked. Oh, you're, that's really you're resting comfortable, on it? actually. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's really comfortable. You should try it. Guys. Tell me, uh, how do the helmets work? So this is the key. Uh, so one key operates both the locks, and we open it. We pull it inside. Oh, so nice. it fits quite nicely, actually. Very so, nice. yeah, that was a very yeah. important point. Compatible with all helmets? Uh, full face helmets only for now. Awesome. Wow, cool. I asked for the question. Well done. Well done. It's fantastic. It's really interesting. And I really like the design and how it's simple and it's going to change a lot of things, I think. You guys have really used the lab phase well. I think it's incredible that you've come so far. So regardless of who wins today, you are both inventors and you should be very, very proud of yourselves and we're very impressed to see how far you Absolutely. Congratulations on, you know, making it this far. And I'll tell you what I really wanna. 
Ah. I really want to call Ahana. Yeah. Okay, oh Ahana. God, his favorite moment. This is the final destination. It this is. is it. This is it. The moment is here. Your heart's going duk 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 duk. The results right here. All of you together? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think just, just do it. All together. Just do all it. Right. Just do it. Okay, guys. The moment of truth. We can exercise our jury power, but having said that, I think the consumer panel knows what they're doing. We have to rely on uh, their insights Experience. as well, and I think I think they've done well here. We agree with the consumer panel. And here we go. Okay. And the winner yes. of the Inventor Challenge is Ayush. Ayush. Yes. Congratulations, bro. Congratulations. Well done so far. Even though one of them won, we can agree both Pratik and Ayush blew our minds. Two everyday people went from just having an idea to making it into something that could actually change the world. See you next Saturday at 8 p.m. on Colors Infinity when four more everyday brilliant inventors will compete to win 10 lakh rupees. आज हम देखने वाले हैं ऐसे इन्वेंशन जो हमारे घर के कामों को आसान बनाने वाले हैं। Nice. आपने कभी घर में कपड़े धोके सुखाए? मैंने नहीं धोए, लेकिन सुखाने का डाले। What do you want to do in your life? I'm not sure at all right now. That's awesome. <laughs> He still doesn't know. Nah. I think your new nickname should just be Aha. Nah. Oh. Nah. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Incredible respect for all mothers now that I've become a father. When is the last time you had this feeling? When I was in a tennis tournament. Oh wow. wow. The innovators have undergone this problem themselves. It's straightforward and simple, and all of those are super exciting. And the winner is. Oh. I thought. 